Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, I've been having problems with this bus over here. Seems like whenever I fix this one, there's another problem occurs. When I fix this one, another problem occurs. So I've cut that <coughs> it is a project bus, so it still needs the lights. So I'll be showing you the things that it still needs so that it can be drivable. Although I can drive it, uh, it just had it just has a problem of uh, of clutch the clutch is not set all right so that's one of the problems that i'll be showing you so in the meantime i've cut uh what do you call cut this uh steel so that i can put it uh, here actually it was it had it had nothing over here uh, when i bought it it had a what do you call a, a radiator in front. Was the person that I bought it, that I bought it from said wanted to put a, an engine, uh, a golf engine or MK1 engine. So I wanted to put the, the air cooled engine so it doesn't use that radiator. So it, and I don't I don't really like it when it has that radiator in in, in front. I like it when it is original. So that's one of the things <coughs> that I've been busy with. I got that this uh, still in front. Just just need to weld it up, and then uh, one of the things that I was busy with also the brakes. Uh, I had to bleed them, and I had to change the caliper because the calipers were the, the one that came with the bus was leaky. So it couldn't push the piston uh, back and forth. Let me show you what I'm what I'm talking about. So here's what I'm talking about. So actually, what what happens? Uh, I'm just gonna show you how the brake works. So what happens that when you press the brake, so brake fluid comes this side, and not that it comes this side. It comes this side. And it pushes uh, when you break when you press the 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 brake brake fluid comes to side through uh, brake valves not not through brake lights so it it pushes this piston right here and then this piston pushes this uh, uh, brake pads so it pushes this and then. It holds the, the disc so the car stops moving. So this piston goes like this, and then like, it goes back again. So it goes like this. As, as you brake, it goes that way. So mine only went. I focus. So mine only went like uh, it only went like brake. It only went like brake and it couldn't go back so I thought maybe it was my my brake booster so it was, it was not my brake booster so I came to find out that it was actually this things right here this rubbers right here so this one does not have a rubber here so it was leaking so I changed it actually I changed this one put in another one the other one that I put in I found out that they didn't have these rubbers here, these O-rings here. So it was just leaking. So I put these O-rings and then again came to find out that this thing was blocking my, my what do you call, my, my brake pads from moving up and down, from, from breaking and going uh, back to, to where it, uh, from from to to its original place so i removed this thing i'll show you on the car i removed this thing then now it is breaking uh, like it should although you do need this thing in order to hold uh, uh, the brake pads in place when you drive when you're traveling on or when you're driving on uh, gravel uh, roads these things will will make sure that your 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 brick pest doesn't uh, make a whole lot of noise. Like, so 
this is the this is very very important so i just took it out because i just wanted to 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 see where the problem was so i just need to clean this thing and then yeah we will we'll be good to go so that is one of the problems that i had so i fixed it i put in this o-rings here and then yeah now i can move this move this bus uh that side that side in that side and move back again before i couldn't so yeah because one of the problems that i have on this bus again is that you start it and soon as you start it it dies so i think maybe it must be our coil our coil uh, is bad so i went and got another coil let me show you so this is the coil that i was using before i think it is an old coil uh, it's no longer working i got tested but then i already tested it so the the resistance or the ohms inside it it's not that good so i went and put another coil which i had from another engine so it works nice now so that's one of the problems that i've been solving let me show you this is that coil that i was talking about although it's not working perfectly uh, so i'll try to get another coil so that it works nice uh, the motor does start and then it drives but uh, the carburetors this one you can see clear in here this one i just need to hook this uh choke right here it got snapped off so i just need to weld it up and then it'll be good to go this one is leaking down there i'll show you in a in a minute it is leaking so i just need to solve that one also uh, this one this engine has two carburetors so that one is uh, all right although it does need a little bit of setting up and then it will be good to go so i got a spring to hold it up when i press the accelerator cable doesn't come back so i got a spring to hold it up so that when i press it it uh, comes back because this one right here they are a bit too old the springs right here they are a bit too old so they are no longer working that perfectly so i got that one uh, i got two so that when you press it it comes back again even in front i put a spring uh, let me show you even in front here there is a spring so that when you press on the accelerator cable i mean on on the accelerator accelerator cable <laughs> when you press on the accelerator it comes back again so yeah then the other thing i was busy with the uh, the wires i mean nothing was 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 working here the the ignition was not working the indicators were not working the oil was not the oil the oil switch was not working and the the alternator was not working even the cluster here was not working it's just that there's no battery i would uh, show you that it is working we have a oil light we have a generator light uh, still has to fix the the lights and then the indicators the indicators to work yeah so that is just one of the problems that i've been busy with i still have to do the horn uh, let me show you that uh, uh clutch cable because the clutch it is kind of loose so i need i want to make it hard so that it works perfect i'm not sure that it should be that hard or not that hard but then the other one the other bus that i'm driving that clutch is, it is kind, kind of hard so let me show you that uh, clutch cable so this is that clutch cable here so i think it is tight 
and I'm not sure that it should be tighter than this so I got a clamp here to hold it in place so that I can tighten it with this uh, butterfly screw butterfly nut <laughs> not the screw so yeah so I don't know if I should tighten it because I even got this uh, nut here so that I have uh, space to tighten it also so I don't know if I should turn it, tighten it further so that it clutches because the gas they're not getting in just get that grinding sound when you try to put in the, the gas so I'm not sure if I should tighten it further or uh, maybe you have a problem with the with the, our have a problem with our uh, gearbox but I don't think so this gearbox is 100% uh, I checked it but uh, uh, at the moment like I said I'm not sure so that is just one of the problems that I've been having and also uh, our engine it is leaking that side that nut over there that nut over there it is leaking as you can see you have oil dripping all over here so we need to replace that nut and then yeah if we do that then uh, we'll be halfway through so with this engines i mean with this cars uh, in order for you to find out what is wrong you need to drive them so yeah if you don't drive them then you won't find out the problem so that's just what i'm busy with now uh, just starting the car and, and letting it idle you won't find you won't find a problem or or what what the problem is with the car so you need to drive it in order to find uh, what you need to fix or what needs to be fixed so with that guys thanks for watching uh, stay tuned uh, in the next video i'll share with you uh, when i'm fixing uh, this this bus right here because now i was just showing you uh, the problem that of uh, or the the things that need to be fixed on this bus, there are a whole lot, so I'll be just sharing with you where and where the, this bus needs to be fixed. With that, thanks uh, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the video if you do. Thanks.